Hey guys, good morning. I've been trying to figure out, and I gotta give credit to Josh on this. Uh, we've been researching this, and, and Josh found this article. Guys, what happened to Luna? Looking at this, this is the fastest crash I have ever seen in crypto, ever. I've never seen something like this. And I was, I was like, in the last video, something technical must have happened with the coin. Take a look at this. Terra Luna crashes 45% as UST, it's the stable coin, massively loses peg. This is the scary part, again. So this has definitely happened before if they say again. Let me read this out to you guys what actually happened here. So uh, I want to dive into this right here. Let's talk about this. Why it matters. UST's token me uh, mechanics are set so that the trader can redeem $1 of Luna for $1 of UST, ensuring that the stablecoin is consistently pegged to the dollar at all times. So here's what I believe happened here. And obviously we know what happened because it tells us here. But when you have the when you have Luna, when you have a stable coin, let's take a lot of you guys probably know USDT or, or USDC better. So let's use it as an example. When you are expecting a, a coin to stay stable to a dollar and it massively drops in value or it becomes unpegged where it doesn't hold steady to that dollar, all of your money, which a lot of people ended up actually taking their money and actually exiting it out of the stable coin because it was dropping, that's going to end up dropping Luna like crazy because of the fear of not knowing how low that stable coin is going to go. I don't know if I said that correctly, but let me try to say it like this. Let's pretend the US dollar is at a dollar. And for some reason overnight, you guys saw that a dollar was no longer worth a dollar. And it literally came over here and Luna dropped over here quite a bit. I'm trying to still find exactly the chart to show the actual, the peg chart over here of what it it dropped it because I don't we don't have that out here yet. But imagine the dollar being a dollar and then you guys waking up this morning and every single dollar you have is worth 80 cents. So no matter how much money you have in your savings account or your bank account, you take that and you have to deduct 20%. That would absolutely freak people out. And they if and, and this is the quantification here, people would probably try to take that money and, res and revert it over to something like gold or something, or maybe or maybe cryptocurrency possibly. But even if they try to do that, they're still gonna be entering those other markets with less money. So what I think happened over here is people just absolutely bailed out. They bailed out b based off fear because it became unpaid. And the scary part about this, is, and I won't make this a long video, is this. They said this has happened again. So because this happened in the past, are people going to have a lot of confidence in Luna? I don't know. Let me move over here now, and I want to show you guys the metrics over here because I want to talk about this because I'm going to get questions on this. Travis, you know, should we keep this coin listed? Uh, it's something I'm honestly considering here. We push down into the fearful section of the emotional index, obviously. Coming up here, long for short trades. Short trades jumped like crazy over here. Precursor to known data, potentially, but I don't think so. I don't think the 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 um, UST coming unpegged was a precursor that a lot of people knew of insider trading to short the markets. I think this just increased over here because of the market looking to to, to move down anyways. Maybe some people knew that, and that's why shorts came out so strong here, because the precursor here was actually, if you guys look at this, it was over here. It was actually before the massive drop is when short trades increased. It, very interesting. So something might have been going on there. The market cap absolutely just tanked over here. You, look at this line. Do you guys see the green line? It's down here. This is the fastest drop of market cap I've ever seen in the history of any cryptocurrency ever, Okay. I want to assess this because you guys are going to ask, well, is it a good time to buy? Well, look at this. Yes, it's showing a good long trade right now. And you're looking at this with well-institutional smart money. Like, look at this. This has never happened on any of these coins before. Buying power coming out. Now, yes, there is ah, there is a sign here. I don't want to just totally trash the lunar because I know I'm going to get bashed in the comments on this. But um, here's what we're looking at. This is from the founder, uh, Du Kong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like butchering that. While buys and sells of UST are not meaningfully directional now, we felt it was valuable to have capital ready to be deployed in the current market. Okay. I think what's probably going to be happening here, and I was, I was reading this down here, is that there, as the market recovers, we plan to loan, excuse me, we plan to have the loan redeemed it, uh, to us in BTC, increasing the size of our over uh, total reserves. So if you guys have been reading the news lately, these guys are acquiring, like, they are one of the highest acquisition companies of Bitcoin. They've been buying a ridiculous amount of Bitcoin. Now, as the, it's so hard. I, I, you guys are hearing me like kind of on the fly here. So I'm trying to figure out how to, here's, let me just get to the point. I don't think it's a good coin to trade right now. 
I don't, I'm just like beating around the bush here and I'm trying to like be articulate about this. I don't think you guys should be trading this. That's my personal professional opinion. If you guys, you know, agree with that. I, I don't think so. Yes, there's great entries down here. If you guys want to put some money in, that's okay. I hear the buy limits for you guys to be using, but hey, I personally don't think if this has happened more than once from the word again, I am not sure this is going to be a great coin to keep holding. I know some people are going to bash the heck out of me in the comments because this is their favorite coin and they're, they're fanboys of it. I get it. I understand it. It's at great structure support right now. It may pump like crazy here. It may. If you're going to look into this, maybe allocate some because it's so low, but just know it's a gamble. When you start having technical problems with a coin like this and it's happened more than once, especially guys on a pegged, a pegged coin will freak people out. Do you guys remember when USDT, this is years in the past, that had that crash and it absolutely freaked the heck out of a bunch of people? That's what happened on Luna. And I don't know if people are emotionally going to be able to recover from this and actually be feel safe putting their money back in here. So we need to watch this. Because the call on here, guys, the break even is at 84. Who in the world would have known it would have crashed this far? So what are we going to do with this trade? Do you sell right now? Guys, if you sell right now, you can do that. I see no point in selling. If you guys, let me, I, I'm sorry I said I was in the video, but let me cover this because I know people are in this trade. Pretend this right now. Let's say you guys have $10,000 in the market. It's down 66%. Okay, so let's say you've got $10,000. You're looking at four, about $3,400. Okay, $3,400 is basically what your portfolio is worth. Do you close that trade right now? and lose out on $6,600 of earning potential? Or do you keep it open right now and you just steadily but surely just let it come back up over time? What are you gonna do? I personally think that selling all of it right now is not a good idea. You're going to get some type of rebound here in the market because people are just gonna buy it because they see it's low and they're gonna start buying. And yes, do Kong, I don't know his full name, he may be right over here where they're trying to, they, they may actually get this back and paid, the confidence may come back into the market, and they may actually just be able to push this back up, and, and enough resources with news articles and Twitter tweets may actually bring confidence back up. So it may not be a bad place to hold. But guys, selling right now and losing out on all of that earning potential by keeping it open, I don't think is a smart idea at all to be selling right now. I would just be holding, and I know it's a long hold, but if you sell right now, that's six, on example, $6,600 you guys can't make back up. It's just gone forever. The exchange has it, it's gone. It's go, it goes to other traders. That is why I think it's better to hold this, in, in my opinion on this, okay? I know it's a crazy crash, but that's what happened. I wanted to cover this on the video for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. All the metrics you guys saw, watch this. Watch this on a daily basis to see what happened. Watch this. Honestly, if you guys see long trades increasing here and short trades moving out, that may actually be a really bullish sign. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. This actually may be one of the coins that pumps the hardest if they can get their act together and start getting some bullish news out and some confidence to people to say, hey, we implemented these things so this won't happen again, okay? that This may actually be one of the highest pumping coins possible this year because it had an incredible project before and it was actually, some of these trends were outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum. It was pretty incredible. So I'm not giving up on it fully. We're not taking it off the website. We're keeping it on there. But guys, this is, it, there's a slight chance this may have one of the potentials to absolutely outperform a lot of these coins if they can get their act together. So should you be exposed to it? Yes, I think you should have a little bit, but it's not a coin. If my mom was like, hey, I'm going to put some into Luna, I'd be like, I think there's other coins like Ethereum, any of these coins, AVX, I think Matic, I think DOT is an incredible buy. These four or five right here are probably my, my highest ones that I would choose for you guys over, over Luna. But I wanted to update you guys on this. All right, God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. I love you guys. I know this market is crazy, but I'm with you. I feel your emotions. We're answering your emails. Just want to let you guys know, like, look, I'm a YouTuber. I'm trading with my own money. I feel this as well. Guys, we're down $50,000. Yeah, we, we still have probably the healthiest account you can find in crypto because we used incredibly good risk management. That's what you guys get over here. Teaching you guys how to keep your account safe on a bear market crash like this. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. That's what happened to Luna. Those are my predictions. And I'll see you guys later. The indicators are in the description, 84% off snag those. So you guys can see that it's a May sale we've got going on. You guys can see that right here. Save money at this link. We'll give those all to you guys, as well as the membership over here is $95 a month. All the metrics, as well as the entries and exits on Telegram, master classes, community chat. And I'm going to go live with you guys on Zoom here on May 19th. So definitely watch out for that. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.